in, in, a, in, in, a, in a free salvation. Oh, glory be to the name of the, the, the name of the Lord. Because he knows my name. And he knows your name. Glory to God. I'm just here to report victory. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. Oh, glory. I could have tell you this morning. Oh, had a rough week. Oh, glory to God. But instead, I'm here to report victory in the name of Jesus. He could tell him a Sunday. He could tell him a Sunday. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to your name, Jesus. Believe us. He's coming soon. And it's time for some radical worship. Oh God, it's, not, it's time for some radical worship. It's not no regular song anymore. No regular hallelujah. No regular praise the Lord. But we come to take the war to the enemy. Oh God Almighty. Because we're going on. It's coming soon. I want to go live in my mansion. Oh, God Almighty. I want to walk on street of gold. Church, did you hear what I said? I said to my sister last night, sometimes we cannot find $2 to rub together. And to think that I have a mansion waiting me. And I'm going to walk. Hallelujah. Church on the streets of gold. I said, I'm excited this morning. I said, I'm excited. I said, I come church. I come for some radical worship. I don't know about you. Hallelujah. But if you're still in the training, go to the back of the line and make radical worship. Get up and worship God. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Glory to God. It's going one time. Don't you see the signs? Don't you see what is happening? Hallelujah. I'm getting ready for my glorified body. So I have to start here. I can't wait till I go there. Oh, God Almighty. Because wherever I am, oh, God Almighty. This corrupter will become incorruptible. Mortal become immortal. I say it's going on time. Hallelujah. It's not time to get ready to sit down in church. Hallelujah. But you worship like you're ready. You're listening for the trump of the Lord. You're listening. You're listening for the trumpet of the Lord with sound. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I said, church, it's time we get radical. Glory to God. The only thing you can say when you see me stand up here, here comes the crazy lady. And I'm proud to be crazy for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have no other life outside of this visiting friends and rescue the person member who don't know me. I say I don't know nothing else but this life. And I'm proud of it. Thank you, Jesus. It's not a pastime for me. It's a way of life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My Sunday school topic is step past determination. I am determined to hold out to the end. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I say, God, I say I'm on fire. I always hear pastor say it. But I believe me. I begin to understand fully what he means. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we worship God? Shall the church worship God? Let me hear the church magnify. Dear God, lift up Jesus in the house. Lift up Jesus. Soldiers of the true and the living God. Lift him up. Thank you. Thank 
you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for the cross. Thank you. Thank you. 
I said it straight to you. Oh my God. He's going to come to fire. He's going to do something for you. The God, God is going to do something for you. Oh my God, Lord, I praise you. Lord, I honey, oh God, Almighty. Lord Jesus, speak, Lord. Speak, Heavenly Father. Speak, Lord. Lord Jesus, you told me, Heavenly Father, God, what to give me, Father, God Almighty. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want to obey you. Lord, I want to hope you're your will, Heavenly Father, God Almighty. Oh, God Almighty. Lord, I want to hope you're your will, Heavenly Father, God Almighty. Let your will be the Lord, God Almighty. Give me the last, eh? I must buy you up soon. Shall we praise the Lord? I must buy you Shall we worship the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Okay. The last I must buy you a soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Eh? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Praise God. Is Sister Bell, is Sister Bell down there? Sister Bell down there? Is Sister Bell down there? Could you call Sister Bell for me, please? And until Sister Bell comes, I'm going to have Sister Claudette. Could you come and do the welcome? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. He that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. In Him will I put my trust. In Him will I trust. And because I trust in God, there is no weapon that should form against me that will prosper. And every tongue that should rise up against me in judgment shall be condemned. Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Let's praise the mighty God. Hallelujah. The conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. The one who shall break the chain. Hallelujah. And give us the victory again and again. Let's give the Lord a praise. Let's give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is a wonderful day, a beautiful day to be in the house of the Lord today. To lift him up, to worship and to adore him. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I must give honor to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost who is head of my life. Then to my pastor, Dr. Reverend D.C. Chambers, Minister Eben Chambers, Minister Dawkins, there they are, <laughs> Evangelist Douglas. Dr. Mahoney, Dr. Wills, and all you wonderful saints of God, I welcome you into the house of the Lord today. Feel free to praise him. He's here. I can feel him in my hands. I can feel him in my feet. I can feel him all over me. God is here. He's here. His presence is here. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Is there any first or second time visitors with us today? There's none? Okay, so we are all family. Let's give the Lord a praise. Let's praise him. He's the good of God. He's the one that wake us up this morning. He's in our midst right now. We can feel him. Let's bless the Lord. We are all one in the name of God. God bless you. Praise God. Sister Claudette, shall we praise the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Believers, we must understand that we are in a spirit-filled church, and you never know how the way in which the Holy Spirit is going to move in the service. So, the devotion leader, once you come prayed up, I'm not in charge. There's a priest of this house. 
So, you know, it, when you set an attitude, you set an attitude with the Holy Spirit, not yes. men. Amen. I have no control over the time or what. I just have to flow with the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, the priest says I should flow, that's how I flow. Amen. And I know you're going to hear a testimony today yeah. because somebody came through. Yeah. Because we bring them to. Yeah. With the worshiping, with the singing. Uh, you uh, never know, believers. You never know. So come like a midwife. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you come to this house, it's yeah. an hospital. Yeah. So come like a midwife. Yeah. Come like a surgeon. Yeah. Because he's making no apology when he takes the service in a direction that you do not want him to take it. Hallelujah. When there's a birth to be given, you don't know, but you're a midwife. And midwife is called upon any time of the night of the day. A surgeon is called upon. So come with your tool. Come with your worship. Come with your praise the Lord. Come with your thank you, Jesus. And hold faith for somebody. It's a amen, church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. At this time, I'm going to ask Sister, Sister Bell, Archie Bell, to come and she's going to read the morning lesson for us. Is that amen? amen. Praise God. Amen. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Once have I spoken, but I will not answer. Yea, twice, but I will pr proceed no further. Dry up thy loins, now like a man, I will demand of thee, and declare thou unto me. Hast thou an arm like God, or canst thou thunder with a voice like him? Cast aboard the reins of thine bark, and behold everyone that is proud and abusive, basely. Hide them in the dust together and bind their fates in secret. Behold now the behind moth which I have with thee, he eateth grass as an ox. He moved his tail like a cedar. The, swan, the swing of his sinews, the sinews of his stones are wrapped together. He is the chief of the of the ways of God. He that made him can make his work sword to approach unto him. He lies under the shady tree in the covert of reed and fen. We read it to the last verse together. The old the drinker of hungry, I said not to trust them. He cannot draw up Jordan unto the Lord. He taketh it with his eyes, his nose pierced through the earth. The word is 
Sister Beth, shall we praise the Lord? Praise shall we worship the Lord? Praise, praise God, praise God. At this time, I'm going to ask Sister Jones, she should have gotten it, but because, you know. Sister Joan, could you come and read the announcement for us, please? Praise the Lord. Rest of the Pershing Deliverance Ministry, 455 Rogers Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11225. Telephone number 347-3532. Pastor and founder, the Reverend Dr. Delroy Chambers. Co-pastor and co-founder, Minister Yvonne Chambers. Pleasant afternoon to all the children of God, visiting friends, and those that are committed to the Rescue of the Perishing Deliverance Ministry, we are glad that you have come to fellowship with us today. These are the announcements for Sunday, November 18th, 2012. We begin each Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. of Sunday school. Our divine worship service starts at 10.45 a.m. until 2 p.m or a little bit after. Our Sunday night evangelistic service begins at 6.45 p.m. Every Monday night from 8 p.m. until 10 p.m., we have men's fellowship. Tuesdays and at 7 p.m. until 8 p.m., prayer meetings, and 8 p.m. until 10 p.m., Bible studies. Thursdays from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m., we have our fasting services. Every first Thursday, we have a special deliverance fasting service, and we are asking those that will be in attendance to be dressed in white. If you cannot wear a full white, a white top is preferred. Fridays at 7.30 p.m., we have fellowship for the whole family, and you all are invited to be a part of this great fellowship. Every first Sunday, we have the Lord's Supper and the blessings of babies. Our pastor can be heard every Wednesday at 8 p.m. on 88.9 FM in Brooklyn. Also, you can tune in on the internet at www.voptv.net. Also, we are on BCAT TV every first and third Sundays at 11.30 a.m. On, on Time Warner Channel 56, Cable Vision Channel 69, RCN Channel 84, and Verizon Channel 44. If you are celebrating an anniversary, birthday, or any other important event, please let us know so that we can celebrate with you and appreciate you in whatever way we can. Our banquet will take place next week, Friday, November the 30th at Glen Terrace, located at 5313 Avenue N. No, November 30th. Tickets are now on sale, and the price remains the same as, as last year. For adults, $90, children under 12 will be $50. Those that are in need of tickets, you are asked to see Sister Marsha Dunstan. Sister Marsha, little please, hold up your hand. Thank you. Remember, brethren, this is our banquet, and we need your full support. Amen? Amen. All those that have received your tickets for the banquet and have not yet paid for your tickets, we would really appreciate if you could settle the amount before the 22nd of this month. If you have the funds with you today, please see Sister Marsha Dunstan or Minister Yvonne or Sister Marie Arthur Crooks. The pastor's aid group would like to inform everyone that our pastors will be celebrating their 30th wedding anniversary on Tuesday, December 4th 
2012. Mark your calendars, saving the date. Saturday, December 8th, 2012. No exception. Amen. Amen. More information to follow. Please act upon these announcements where possible. Sister Nathan would like to meet with the following persons after church. Minister Dawkins from the music department. Sister Tomlinson from the Sunday school department. Sister Dunstan from the youth department. Sister Cameron from the usher department. And Mother Spencer from the prior department. Thank you. And the thought for the week is as follows. If you can be of assistance to someone today, do not put it off until tomorrow. Remember, we do not know what tomorrow might bring. You might just regret it that you did not do it the day before. Let me read it again. If you can be of assistance to somebody today, do not put it off until tomorrow. Amen. Remember, we do not know what tomorrow might bring. You might just regret it that you did not do it the day before. God richly bless you. Thank you, Sister Joan. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise God. And also, I would like to meet immediately after church with all the ladies, ex excluding Minister Chambers. Excluding Minister Chambers, I would like to meet with all the ladies. So even if you meet with Sister Nathan afterwards, please, I would like to meet with all the ladies, young and old, vernacular. Like my aunt, and your yeah, and all, and upper. I'd like to meet. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It's offering time. Come on. Yay. Okay, it's offering time. I'd like uh, the ushers to come. A usher to come forward, please. Get your tithes and your offering out and hold them in your right hand. And we are going to say our, our prayer pledge. And there are, there are people that are benefiting from, from this, this, pri this prayer that we, are, we keep saying every Sunday, which is kind of unique. We don't hear it in every church. But it really works. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Even if you find a penny, it's finding money. Yes, Amen. Come on. Let us stand with your offering and your tithes. And you're going to repeat after me as usual. As we give in today's offering, we believe the Lord for jobs are better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, settlements, estates and inheritances, interest and income, rebates and returns. Checks in the mail. Checks in the mail. Gifts, and Gifts and surprises. Finding money. Finding money. Bills paid off. Debts demolished. Demolish. Royalties received. Royalties received. Soul saved. Soul saved. Body, sealed. Body sealed. It's offering time. It's giving time. It's time. And it's sealed. In the, name of the in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. It's offering time. And it's a happy time. 
Glory to God. Sex in the name. <laughs> Glory to God. I know, I know when I get up here, it's always exciting when I get up here. It's never boring when Sister Douglas is in his <laughs> to his devotion. <laughs> Amen. And while our devotion is been, well, well, well our tithes and our offering is being collected, Sister, Sister Cooper, she's going to sing for us. Amen. She promised me to sing. Amen. She promised me to sing for me. I need that song. Amen. Huh? Oh, oh, she said after after you clear the oil, she's come. She's gonna sing for me. some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He deserves all the glory and all the praise. Hallelujah. And I know uh, I, as I stand here today, I know, I know that I know that I know that he is a good God. Hallelujah. Today I give honor to the spirit of God which is ahead of my life. Hallelujah. Had it not been for the man called Christ Jesus, had it not been for the old rugged cross, then I know that I would have been lost today. Praise the Lord, bring in my pastor and his dear wife, all the ministers, saints of God, little children, in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. I know you haven't seen me for a couple of weeks. Praise the Lord, I've been in the hospital, out of the hospital. Hallelujah. I've been on the rough side of the mountain. Yes. I've been in the valley low. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. The storms keep on raging in my life. Hallelujah. But I'm glad, hallelujah, hallelujah, that he is the God of the storm. Oh, and when they begin to blow, he just, oh, just said, peace be still. I'm thanking him for that peace this morning. I could have fallen. Oh, hallelujah. You don't know where I've been. But sometimes you just think it's enough. But God is not through with me yet. I don't believe. He brought me this far to leave me. Eh, sometimes some of us, God has to take us through some rough path. He got to do something with us to get what he wants out of us. And I know there's a glory awaiting me. I know he has better things in store for me. So I may be pushed down. Oh, but I'm up again because he has quickened me. I have a testimony. I am so glad that he loves me. Hey, I've 
have been back and forth, hallelujah. And just when the doctor gave me paper that they did something to me and it wasn't done and they sent me home. Oh, I remember last week, not this week, gone last week, Wednesday, I was home and I felt like I was just going out. But church, I thank you for praying for me. And I thank my pastor, hallelujah. Because when I didn't see any way out the first time, oh, I, all I know is that I have Jesus. And the first thing was to call my pastor. And even when it didn't look good, we were praying. It could have been worse, pastor. Pastor, I love you with the love of the Lord. And I thank the Lord for you. Hallelujah. Sometimes you're in such a hard place. Oh, when everything is like the billows are raging. Oh, hallelujah. You don't know who to call. But when you stay under God's umbrella, he will direct you to the right person. I always say when I come to church, when, when you see me worshiping God, I, oh, I don't just get my worship when I come here. I stay prayed up. I'm always on my knees because I know that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So I stay on my altar. I have my altar at work and I stay there and I pray to God and I thank him. Hallelujah. It might not work out the way I want it to. It might not work out the way that you want them to. But to God be the glory. Great things he has done. Hallelujah. I might have cried so much. Hallelujah. But I'm glad that tears are a language that he understands. Hallelujah. And I know a missionary, a missionary asked me to sing a song. I hope, hallelujah, I will be able to remember the words of that song that she wants me to sing. And I just pray that you pray for me while I sing because my voice is, if you hear it, it's really hoarse. But I thank God for the mountain. It's not hoarse because I was, I was worshiping. That's why it's like that. But I thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have journeyed through the long dark night. Out on the open sea. My faith alone. Sight unknown.
I don't know what your situation is. I don't know what your problem is. But I have fallen on my knees. Oh, as I face the raging. Oh, it was so poisonous, the raging sea. But the anchor holds. Come on, somebody, the anchor. I said the anchor holds. Change the anchor holds.
A word in the house for us. Thank God for ministry evangelist Douglas. Praise the name of the Lord. We all of our good days and our bad days and our in between days. But God is still good and the anchor still holds. And we bless the name of the Lord. Just before Pastor come, I just want to say thanks for those that accompanied me last night on Into Connecticut. I thank God for everyone that came and um, God did move for us. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The word is coming. But my topic was, entreat me not to leave thee. And years we have been saying, entreat me not to leave thee, nor to return from following thee. But when we hit the hating verse, it grabbed a hold on me. It said, when she saw that she was steadfastly minded in not leaving, she shut up. That was Naomi. When she saw Ruth was steadfastly minded, she stopped speaking. When Elisha saw that Elisha wanted the double portion he asked the question and Elijah had a ready answer when the woman when Jacob saw that he had to meet Esau he would not let go of the angel until he got a blessing my question last night what to them was how badly do you need it when the woman the Shunammite woman saw that her miracle died that she didn't ask for what she got a miracle sister Betty she went to the man of God and said as the Lord liveth and my soul liveth I'm not going to let you go the anchor holds I'm not letting you go man of God Elijah said who are your peace to some Christians Do you need this blessing? Do you have an Esau to meet? Come on. It's your miracle that the one miracle that you got it died. The hallelujah. And you decide you're not going to let go of the man of God. 
Thank you. 